In this video, I explain what is force, unit of force, and various type of force in this video. So first, we understand the definition of force. Force is the product of mass and acceleration of the body upon which it is applied. Okay, so here you see this is the one image. Okay, so this is the one body. It have a certain mass. Okay, and this mass is denoted as the m. And here you see this person is applying some force. Okay, so here they are try to pull this body. So it's called as the pulling force. Okay, some sometimes we are pushing the body. That is also called as the force. Okay, means the force is either pull type or a push type. Okay, so here these human being are the pulling this body. Okay, and this body have certain mass m. Okay, and when this body start to move, okay, at that time they move with the certain accelerations. So how we find out the accelerations okay so acceleration is find out from the distance okay so when this person is applying the force on this body and the body is moved from this place to here and this distance is suppose 1 meter okay then first we need to find out velocity by doing the differentials of the distance with respect to the time okay so this body is moving 1 meter in a 1 second so we find out the velocity by doing the differentials then after we doing the differential of velocity with respect to the time then we get the accelerations okay so we can write down this equation of the force this force is denoted as the f and f is equal to mass into acceleration means here we highlight that is a product of mass and acceleration means f is equal to m into a and this statement is according to the newton second law of motion now next we understands the unit okay so here the m is consider as the constants and the unit of m means mass is in the kg okay and what is the unit of acceleration unit of acceleration is meter per second square okay that we find out that first we measure the distance and do it differential with respect to the time means with respect to the second then we get the meter per second it is in velocity okay then again we do the differentials meter per second then we get the unit meter per second squares okay and generally we consider the m is constant because this mass of this body is not changed so in the si unit means in a international system unit of mass is kg and unit of acceleration is meter per second squares that means the unit of force is equal to the unit of mass into unit of acceleration we know the unit of mass is kg unit of acceleration is meter per second square so what we get unit unit is kg into meter per second square and kg into meter per second square is also known as the newtons okay and the newton is denoted as the capital n now how the newton is defined so newton n may be defined as the force which apply to a body means the newton is the one unit of the force okay so how we define the newtons newton means we apply the some force okay on a body having a mass of 1 kg so here we consider that this body mass is the 1 kg okay and it's a move with the acceleration of 1 meter per second square so it is called as the newton means we consider this m is equal to 1 acceleration is equal to 1 then the force is equal to the 1 newtons and the larger units of the newtons are kilonewtons so kilonewtons are denoted as the kn second one is the mega newton that is denoted as the mn so are recommended of the larger units okay means like as the weight or a mass so generally we measure the mass in a milligram grams and a kilogram then after ton that's where this the larger units of the every units are possible so this kilonewtons mega newtons are the larger units of the newtons now we understand these various types of the force okay so force have the various types so earlier we discuss about the pull force and the push force okay so when we in this image you see this person is the try to pull this body that is called as the pulling force and sometimes we are pushing the body that is called as the push force okay so same way there is a tensile and compression force is there okay so suppose one person is standing here and they are also try to pull the product from the both the side means one person is pulling from this side another person is pulling from this side it is called as the tensile force okay when the two persons are pushing this body then it is called as the compression force okay another force is the friction force gravity force applied force spring force drag force there is a drag force is applied on this our vehicles okay what things are moving they are facing some drag force due to the frictions with the air 
that is the normal force magnetic force electric force these are the various types of the force so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to the basic mechanical engineering and the other subject of the engineering for the bme various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist